Hey, what's going on, fam? Thank you so much for tuning in. So I'm going to pull your energy to see what's good for you guys overall tonight and into tomorrow or whenever you tune into this video, okay? And um, you already know what to do. Flip your rolls. Take only what you need. Leave the rest. And please use the spirit of discernment. I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I don't know what timeline you're on. I just know the energy, okay, you guys? If it doesn't resonate, definitely don't force it to fit. If you're triggered by something, face your mirror, okay? Not my comment section. I'm just the messenger rules, all right? So I love you. Let's jump right on in to this reading, okay? So let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides, for helping me with this collective reading. Thank you that my true guides are here with me. And so it is. All right, y'all. So this is what's going on. I got the strategy card in the reverse, okay, next to the action card, all right? So somebody is not sure how to take action um, here. I don't know what this is about just yet. It could be something dealing with finances or whatever it is that may make you feel restricted in some kind of way, right? It could be something that you value that you're trying to get to, but it just seems like there's delays, there's obstacles, or there's something that is... Um, restricting you okay and this could definitely be messing with your vibe um i got the third chakra coming out which literally represents your vibrations okay and what i'm seeing is that someone really just doesn't know what to do how to do it but we're gonna find out what it's about all right so let me run that's so interesting how my instant started burning again and it completely burnt out but i did have it on this little sage thing so that's probably why but let me see something all right so what is it here that my collective does not know what to take action on or how to take action about okay so don't forget y'all flip the rolls too Okay, what is it that my collective doesn't have a strategy on? Knight of Wands in the reverse position next to the Four of Pentacles upright. And so basically what I'm seeing here is that this Knight of Wands, masculine energy, okay. Let me see. All right. They could have been a little arrogant. A little shit. This person probably was definitely very arrogant, okay. Um, or overly confident about something. It's like whatever they're holding on to, they're holding on to some stuff that they need to release and they're just not doing it. Whether it's people, whether it's possessions, whether it's issues, whatever it may be. And I feel like they may have even thought that you would not let them go. Tell me about this. Why are they feeling overly confident? What was this masculine feeling overly confident about? Justice, the sun, the justice card came out next to the sun card in the reverse. So something could have been done and they may have thought that you were not going to make a decision here. So somebody made some type of a just decision is what I'm seeing and they didn't think that you were going to do it. Okay. Um, I definitely feel like whatever was done, it could have been something here that this wasn't fair to you and this is their karma for real and it's blocking them in their happiness the sun is in the reverse position so they're definitely not happy about whatever the decision is that's being made here and they don't know how yeah five of swords comes out so it's some type of conflict that you two may have had some type of disagreement and you probably have decided to walk away or this person may have decided to walk away whatever it is it's like it's some type of deception or underhanded behavior that took place okay and tell me about that deception Instead of you guys being able to come to some type of peaceful resolution here, 
I feel like or compromise in some kind of way. You guys are aren't really seeing eye to eye with this. Yeah, the chariot card comes out in a reverse position, so it is definitely a challenge. Okay, some type of challenge here. You guys are definitely not seeing eye to eye. So it's just like either you or this person could be moving on, not really communicating. Yeah, Ten of Cups comes out, right? And instead of y'all coming back together, having this emotional stability with each other, there's a disconnect. Okay, so tell me about the action card. And it's like, yeah, the Queen of Cups comes in a reverse position. Okay, so somebody isn't really trusting their intuition or tapping into that feminine energy. Yeah, because that's how I'm seeing it. So even if this is a man not tapping into their feminine energy, which is going to be intuition and nurturing side. Um, this is why they don't really have a clear plan on how to take action because they have to use their intuition in order to do this. And this person is not doing that. It's like they're, they're more still coming from their lower selves with this. Okay. Um, ego, logic, things like that is how I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. Yep, so they're not seeing any efforts pay off. Um, it's like everything that they may have tried, they're not seeing their efforts pay off. But the thing is, is because, again, they're coming in here with this Knight of Wands reverse energy. So they're not seeing their efforts pay off because they're still kind of in that arrogant energy or overly confident or, you know, it's still that in and out energy. And, and, and like I said, it's like we got an empress here, you know? So it's like, hey, you're dealing with an empress. So... You can't come to the Empress as a Knight of Wands reverse because the Empress already has that self-awareness, okay, that self-worth, okay? So the Knight of Wands actually was the card that came out beforehand. And what I'm seeing here is that whoever this person is, it's like some um, being quite stubborn, okay? Whoever the Knight of Wands reverse is, is being quite stubborn. And what I see is that the Empress is actually standing up for what it is that the empress believes in okay so what is it that the empress is believing in the judgment card comes out the empress has awakened straight like that and has already reflected and evaluated this whole situation basically and that's how i'm seeing it and it's like they're now realizing here okay you know hey some adjustments have to be made so whoever the empress is is definitely ascending okay this could be your divine counterpart, a twin flame type energy going on here. I do definitely see as a shift in the twin flame community where the divine feminines are now in the energy of kind of like, you know, moving forward. I ain't going to say kind of like they have a, a plan. They have a, a specific strategy to achieve their goals and listening to that intuition. And it's now they're considering, you know, that they have to take and make some changes that there's going to be a change in, uh, um, change in action or change in their course. Um, and that's what they're doing. It's like they're going with the flow is how I'm seeing it um, for the divine feminine community. And then the divine masculine community is kind of still stuck. You know what I'm saying? Not really progressing or moving. I don't want to say they're not progressing. I feel like they are doing some things here when it comes to their um, career and things like that, the things that involve what they need to do for themselves, of course. But when it comes to the connection itself, you guys are not meeting eye to eye on some things here. Okay. But it's like I said, it's because whoever's playing the role of the empress is ascending. Okay. Moving up, moving a little faster than the masculine energies here. So what are some guidance? giving and receiving comes out so of course we already know like it says the entire universe operates in a in cycles similar to you know the way we inhale and exhale and so when we only exhale or give or we only inhale receive right it, it brings an imbalance and in order to have that optimum balance it has to be an equal give and take. It has to be that equal energy. And of course, it's not. Okay. So you're receiving some trustworthy guidance here as well. 
you're receiving a lot of wonderful ideas, but I'll go more into that into part two. So stay tuned.